Hey there, how's it going? David in Ark, and today we are here with a special modded ETK 800. Yeah, that's right. This is an ETK 800 series vehicle, and it is the DIY shed. Now, I think one of the coolest things about this whole mod is that it is actually interactive. Oh, I got to release the hood. Sorry, I always forget. You got to do the hood release. There we go. Proper. Oh, look at that. That is so crazy. And of course, we can open this door and open the back of the outhouse door. This is so nuts. Oh, my gosh. I, I absolutely love this. This is as hokey as it gets. By the way, this is for a competition that is currently going on in BeamNG where modders create the most outlandish, crazy vehicles they can come up with. Look at the freaking pipes on that thing. Jiminy Cricket. All right. The real question is, how does it drive? And I have no idea. So let's get after it. Look at the lights on the back of that. Let's get after it and see exactly what happens when we send this thing flying off of the car jump arena i will tell you it's got some decent speed 122 miles an hour at takeoff oh look at there oh that was great the back end kept <laughs> i mean it's destroyed but it, uh, it it kept up because the back end was heavier it made for a great landing um Okay, sure. Great is a little bit of a strong term. Look at that. Oh, that is so, so cool. All right. Let's get this thing reset up here. So, I'm curious, of course. We got to do lights. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So, the lights work. That is a huge plus. Okay, I'm going to have to turn... Okay. Okay. I was going to say, let's make sure the lights are actually working. Yeah, they are. Oh, hi. We're underneath the truck. Sure. Why not? When all else fails... Oh, whoops. Oh, I cannot drive under the vehicle. Hmm. Who'd have thunk? Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh, oh, okay. We're tumbling. We're rolling. Let's see what happens here. Oh, losing the pipes. Well, they're just loose. We didn't. We didn't actually lose them. Can I steer right into this? Yeah. Ah, we broke the engine, broke the drive shaft. We have destroyed the house. Now, one of the things that the creator of the mod uh, pointed out was that where did my mouse go? Uh, was that the uh, wood interior uh, is not destructible. And that has to do with uh, performance issues and some other things. So just, you know, kind of a heads up. That is definitely a rigid wooden structure inside. But that is so, so cool. All right, so let's take this out to the cliff. I want to see how this does on the cliff map. All right, here we go. Hanging out on the cliff. And let's just send this bad boy over the edge and see how it fares as we tumble and fall and make our way down to the beach. We are definitely losing tons of pieces and parts. Oh, look at there. We are actually breaking the body away from the chassis. It is hanging on for dear life, though. So it has not completely come apart. Oh, wait. No, it is. Oh, that is a mess. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, they're definitely twisted together. Will it come loose? Oh, it is loose, but it doesn't actually come loose. Uh, that's one of the features, if you will. Oh, there we go. Finally, it's it's essentially loose. Not exactly. Um, that's a, I don't want to say feature. That's a side effect of the way that uh, the beams and nodes work in this game. If I hold the control key down, you can see where these little dots, these are called the nodes, and behind the scenes, there are beams that connect everything together. And uh, in certain vehicles, you'll see stuff like that where uh, parts come off but actually don't get thrown off into the distance because they are still connected with dots. So 
I don't know why I'm explaining that. Hope, hope that's uh, something that you needed to know. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to go this way this time. Oh, 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 look at there. I saved it. Saved it so that we could go off this way, maybe? Uh-oh. We're a little stuck. Can we go? Come on. No, we're really... Uh, actually, I think I'm completely stuck now. Yeah. I managed to beach myself. All right. Let's, let's do this a little bit. That'll work. Come on, get up there. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. How many times can we do the same thing over and over? Isn't that like the definition of insanity? Here's what we're going to do. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? What if we just did this? Oops. Okay, my steering wheel is going crazy. Ready, and boom. We're just going to drop this bad boy in the air from up high. Oh, crunch straight into the top of the cliff. And look at the damage. We folded the chassis. And as the vehicle tumbles down the hill, it is much shorter than it used to be. It's almost go-kart-like now. Rolling, tumbling, falling down as we head toward the beach on this side of the cliff map. Ooh, that is that is rough looking. I'll tell you what though, the 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 underlying structure of the shed itself is generally pretty sturdy. Alright, fine. It's all warped and out of control. What are you gonna do? Ah, so so cool. Anyhow, there you go. Just a quick look at one of the many mods that are a part of this competition in Beam NG. I'll have a link to the DIY shed down in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Special thanks to all the folks who support the channel, and thanks to you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm David in Ark. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Maybe a better day than this guy's having. Oh, wait, we're up. Oh, I was going to say we're on. We're, we're upright. That is the ultimate goal. Can we remain upright or get back upright? Get right back to where we started from. Look at that. There we go. Nothing like a nice day at the beach. Na 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 na.